Welcome to our live training session number 26, part three. In this video, we're gonna take a look at tuning the rest of our fuel and ignition timing tables on our low cam of operation for both part throttle and wide open throttle conditions, as well as taking a look at setting up our cam angle blend for the low cam cam angle table. We're gonna have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our live training session so we can get started. Welcome back to our live training session here with our naturally aspirated 9th gen Civic Si. Now in the last video, we mapped out our fuel and spark timing tables for our low cam zero degree cam angle pairing. So we've optimized everything for idle, part throttle, and full throttle. And we copied our tables here, jumping into our low cam uh, table here, the zero degree. We copied our fuel table, all of it into our 15 degree table, in our 15 degree fuel table. And then we went into our uh, zero degree spark timing table. We copied this, pasted it into our 15 degree variable cam table here for spark timing, and added two more degrees. Now I had to two more degrees because as we move up in cam angle pairing, we're always able to run one to two to three degrees more timing as we jump up from between zero to 15 and 15 to 30 and on and on. So we'll find that um, as we move up, we can run a little bit more spark timing. It's gonna be a little bit, little bit more power. We'll find that the overlap um, that the variable cam is gonna be dialing in is going to allow us to have a little bit more efficiency and a little bit less knock sensitivity. So we'll have that effect. Now, when we go and copy our fuel table here, as I mentioned in the last video, going from our zero into our 15, we're gonna be exposing if that change is going to be a positive change or not, and we can note immediately based on just looking uh, at the difference of our fuel. So as we're looking and operating in our 15 degree table, as we paste it, our zero degree into our 15 degree, if it's showing it's lean, that means we're making more torque, making more power. If it runs rich, that means we're making less. So we can evaluate it pretty quickly and see what's going on um, and figure out what the cause and effect is going to be with our variable cam mapping. So what we need to do at this point is go into our cam angle table here, actually command 15 degrees. So if we go here, you control J, set it at 15. As soon as we get above 1500 RPM here, we'll switch into our 15 degree cam angle, and then we're gonna be automatically switching into our tables here. We're gonna move right into our 15 degree tables. The tables are gonna be associated with the pairing. So uh, we have this option here under our options, tables follow VTEC, tables follow cam angle. With this checked right here, it'll go and rotate automatically into the next table that we're working with. So if we're commanding 15, it's gonna be right into the 15, it's gonna do it for us. We don't have to go and manually switch across these tables here. But pretty easy how it's gonna work. So now that we've done that, um, and we've set our cam angle here, I'm gonna go and save this right now. I'll go to file, we'll go to save as. I'll go up here and dyno calibration, low cam zero, I'll say dyno calibration, low cam 15. So I'm gonna be saving that, and I know that I have a stepping stone to go backwards now in my tuning process. So I need to flash the file right now. Let's go in here, and I'm going to update this. Because remember, when we were doing our live tuning options, we were selecting them. We went in here, and we selected our fuel low and our ignition low here, associated with our low cam operation. We have all of our tables here showing, have a live status, and a check mark is going to be checked telling us that this table is live editable. Um, we do not have enough memory space to do both fuel low, ignition low, and cam angle low. When we check that, the memory showed full. We're able to add that in there. So I 